Hey everybody, it's your friend Sarm right here, and we're back with another episode of Settlement Survival. I'm having a fantastic and amazing day today. In this episode, we're going to continue to work on some logistical things, and I want to do a little bit more of our processing upgrades. I want to grab some sugar. So in between episodes, I did a little bit of work. There's a couple new buildings around here. The biggest thing I think that I did is I went through each of these luxury houses, and every single one of them right now has the puppy upgrade. So we're doing all right. I'm trying to keep our fertility rate as high as possible. And that process of putting the puppies in every single one of these houses takes forever, but it's needed because we. Want, I'm kind of also working toward the achievement of having everybody living in a luxury house. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, but anyways, we got those upgraded and we need that. So we were also getting kind of low on food again. So you can see here are about 700. But if we look in our production, we have a huge gain here. So I'm not really sure what the scoop is, but to help that out a little bit further, I put in six more dense farms here. Uh, these are all making corn for us. And I would like to use our outdoor kitchen right here to make some tacos with that corn and uh, get a little bit better food happening over here from that corn. The heat is unbearable. Some citizens are resting by the riverside as they cool off, but there are some people who propose to go for a swim in the river. The river looks calm and many citizens are tempted to go for a swim. Do you want to stop them? Nope. Citizens were able to cool off the heat in the water. They even caught some lobsters. 928 lobsters. Wow. We have six corrals here and three of them are in buffaloes. And then two of them are going to be geese. So we were pretty low on feathers. So that's why I chose to do geese here. And then this last one is currently showing buffalo. Uh, but once we get some horse, I'm going to go ahead and put horse in there. So then we'll be good to go. Uh, once we get the horses, we'll be able to go to logistics here. Let's do it right now. We got three points. Let's go for it. Movement speed of logistical workers is plus 20% with quicker porter. We're going to go ahead and do that. And then the animal power. This is why we want to get those horses. Increases the efficiency and low limit by 500%. It's just too good to not have. So we're going to go ahead and grab that as well. And then I also want to start working on sugar refining. We should have tons and tons of sugar cane. Almost 20,000. We're going to go ahead and get this guy going as well. So awesome. We got those things good to go. Let's go ahead and get to our sugar workshop and get one of these guys started up. Uh, we got a transfer station right here. So this is not a terrible spot. Go ahead and plop that guy down right there. We'll have to revisit that shortly. I'm looking at our quarries as well. We are trying to upgrade. So I have some planks going on. I had to put in a couple more steel processing things. And then a little bit more rope. So we are good to go to upgrade this quarry. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Another thing that I did here uh, is I tried out these marquees. So currently we are kind of at the point where we're trying to upgrade homes. And people need a place to be while we're upgrading, right? So uh, I've never built one of these guys before. So I thought we'd check it out. Uh, and they're okay. Ten people in each. Got two of them. Uh, these guys are self-sufficient. They don't have to be built with in the marketplace like everything else but these are very much temporary shelters so we're going to continue to upgrade going along doing this as we've been doing i'm trying to get all of these upgraded to luxury houses and we'll go through each one and do the same coming up over in here we now have three more dense forest farms two dense orchards all making coffee and then three more dense farms up here for corn lots of corn coming in nowadays now we have all of these luxury houses up in here. I've been just building luxury houses here, trying to only build them so we don't have to upgrade them later. Uh, both these senior houses have dogs, so that's looking great. So this new little area is developing quite nicely. Uh, we did get our hospital completed because I've been doing caravans also, and we got some luxury bedding, so that's taken care of as well. Put a fourth vendor in there. And let's go ahead and check the small trading posts here. So we have... Level 3 with Meow, level 2 with Renzo, and then with Rania, we have level 2, but we're almost level 3. We're trying to get to level 3, because I'd like to get some gem mines, and we get some gems, and we can start selling those things. Those make a ton of money. And then Exquisite Swords are pretty good to get as well, and then Grand Bazaar is a pretty good uh, trading post also. And then we have uh, the Bitter Trade down here, increases the price of all trade goods by 25%, and then this guy is going to be able to help the uh the speed of producing tech experience points by 50 percent so it's pretty good powerful thing to get uh, and then we have carlos of course almost level five We're really really close with that got the seeds trade in chicha and itza super happy about that building uh and then these other two are kind of irrelevant so we're doing pretty great with our reps i'm pretty pleased with it 
I do want to set up another caravan for Rania. We're just selling stuff at this point. 61,000 coins. We should have enough now to order a horse and be good to go with that. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. We'll be back in just a second. All right, that guy's good to go for another 13,000 coins. Okay, so let's go up to our uh, trading post over in here, the water, the dock, this guy. We're going to do an order. So let's go ahead and check out animals. These guys are expensive. We looked at these a little bit. Uh, so we want horses. I'm going to go ahead and plus that. 45,000. We can absolutely do that. Let's go ahead and order it. We have to wait a little bit before that gets here. Uh, we have 357 days left before we can make another order. So we'll, have, we'll wait just a little bit. We'll get horses shortly. And then we will be able to start growing them up in the corrals and taking advantage of our animal power technology. We do have one more tech point that we just acquired. So we got the sugar, right? We got to think about what can we do with that sugar? Something that we could do with the sugar is we can put in a jam workshop. We haven't done that yet, but we need some fruits. So we have to buy some seeds from Carlos. Not a big deal. We have these nice dense orchard farms that we can utilize to make all sorts of good jams. Uh, so with this extra tech point, I think we're gonna go ahead and go for leatherware. Uh, we can produce leather shoes and handbags with this guy, but what I really want to get is refined leather. We can utilize salt and leather to make refined leather. And then we can make luxury furniture with that. That's what I would really like to get going on. I usually use silver for that, but I'm going to try a little bit different way and try and refine the leather instead. That's why I went with buffaloes. We should have plenty of leather going on. So that's working. And then let's go ahead and come over in here. We got our horse. So we are going to get meat off these horses, but that's not what we're going for, really. Okay, so we got our horse. Let's go ahead and assign June to that. And we should be good to go. The horse will make its way over here and we will start to have some horses going on. And we got our caravan back. I heard the little jingle. Let's go over to our trading post. Let's see what we got. I think that was with Rania level three. Awesome. So there we go. We got our dyeing mill, the custom tailor, dyeing cloth, gem mines, and gem. So let's go ahead and we can build a couple of those things. So first of all, let's go for resources and let's get a gem mine started up over in here. We get a gem mine started up right there. And then we will start to harvest those and uh, trade them out. It'd be a really great thing to have going on for our uh, economy here. You may have noticed that we have two obsidian mines now. So we got that working. I tried to go through uh, everywhere here and only use obsidian roads. And then I came down over in here and we're working on overriding all of the roads here with obsidian roads. It takes a lot of obsidian. So I thought put in another mine and we should have more uh, rocks to upgrade the roads and we'll be good to go. Probably need another one because we're really low, 10 still. So maybe we'll think about that. But with our gem mine, that'll be another 10 people in there. We got so many laborers right now. It's crazy, but it's so so nice to have as many as we got right now. Let's go ahead and find some of these dyeing shops. So here's the dyeing mill and the custom tailor. Let's come over in here and we got plenty of wiggle room over in here. So let's utilize it. And let's go for the dyeing mill. And this is going to be great right here because we have this transportation good to go. And then we'll go ahead and do a custom tailor and see what that has to offer for us. As well as let's go ahead and grab the leatherware hut and get that guy started up. We're right here by all the buffalo. So it'll be a great place for it. Get that guy started up right there. Excellent. So in time, we'll get that happening. We got our sugar workshop good to go now. Making some sugar from all that sugar cane we've been growing for a long time now. I think it's just this one farm that we have for sugar cane. So it's coming along great getting a little bit of that happening let's um let's put one more worker in there since we got them and then once we get to jams we will have plenty of uh, sugar ready for all those jam workers let's go ahead and plop one of these guys down as well and uh, let's just go over here on the side of the mountain i think i'll flatten this mountain out here uh, it's kind of in the way all right so that's great and now that i'm kind of thinking about it let's go for another obsidian mine down over in here obsidian mine will get done shortly we need some more lanterns so we'll, we'll get there eventually uh so great our dying mill is good to go so let's see what they need for this cotton cloth and water we got plenty of both great so this is going to be uh, a valuable textile material you know i'm not sure what we can utilize this for maybe that'll be in the custom tailor we'll find out shortly but it is worth 17 coins a piece pretty good oh, looks like our horse has arrived so that's great uh let's go ahead and what was that seed that we wanted to get to oh yeah we wanted to get to uh, some fruit so let's go ahead and we'll visit carlos we'll go up over in here to our oh, our other trading post, I mean. Great. And then we'll visit Carlos. We'll do our 10 people. And then I'll set this up to sell some goods. And then I'm going to buy probably apples. All right. Going to go visit Carlos. We've got 10,000 money on the way. Go ahead and form that. Get those on the way. And while we're waiting for that, we have to set up another orchard for those apples. So 
So this space that we just kind of cleared out is looking great for that type of thing. Let's go ahead and flatten this just a little bit more. And then let's go up to our agriculture. And we are going to grab our dense orchards. And let's pop a couple in here. Get a little bit of apple action happening. I'm going to go for four because why not? Get lots of apples and lots of jams and it'll be a great little thing to have. Uh, of course, I am utilizing the obsidian roads just as I mentioned before. And then... I think what we'll do is we'll put in a little bit more warehousey action. We do have one right here, but I think having too many is better than not having enough. We'll throw in another one, and heck, I might as well throw one down over here as well. Looking like our custom tailor's good to go. Let's see what this guy's going to utilize. So rough clothing, okay. Luxury coats. Ah, there's the iron cloth. And then we have gowns and then custom gown. Wow. Okay, so there's seal fur. So we mentioned that, and then jewelry. So what we're going to need to do with the seal fur. Is we're gonna need to work our way down the fishing port right here that's of course gonna take three more points that's definitely doable and then mining we need to get to gold mining so that's gonna be yet another three points so we're about six points or so out from being able to do the custom gown which is not too bad i don't think so we're gonna go ahead and we don't have our fine leather just yet we're gonna go ahead and let's go for gowns we'll have to wait a little bit till our leather warehouse gets completed oh we need steel tools okay so gowns aren't gonna work Let's go luxury coat. Okay, so for steel tooling, we are going to need another blacksmith to work on that for us. Um, So let's come over in here in our little area. Let's go for the advanced smithy. We'll go ahead and get that guy built up, and then we'll start making steel tools in there. And I think what we'll do is we should probably ban steel tools because then we won't utilize them for anything else besides uh, the building here. So we only need 20. It's not much. So once we have the 20, we can unban them, and then we'll be able to utilize the steel tools. Um, right now, we have tons of hardwood tools, which are durability 250 and health of 25. And then steel tools are a durability of 250 with a health of 30. So steel tools are slightly better, it looks like, than hardwood tools. Uh, the trade-off being hardwood tools are utilizing the hardwood nurseries solely. Uh, whereas steel tools are going to have to use a lot of steel to produce the tools. And at this point where we're using steel in so many places, I feel like the hardwood tools are still going to be better to utilize, even though they have that slight reduction in health. And it looks like our jam workshop is good to go. So let's check this out. Strangely enough, the jam workshop isn't calling for any sugar. So it's kind of weird that it was on the same block as uh, the sugar. You would think that uh, it would utilize that. So are the apples here yet? Not quite. We gotta wait a little bit longer but we'll have our dense orchards it looks like built by the time we get those and then we'll get started all at once and it'll be really great it's gonna take us several years to actually produce fruit from the trees but that's all right we're working on it and then we'll be ready to go as soon as those apples are ready for us so while we are waiting i think i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and as soon as we get the apples up and running then we'll get it back going uh, i think i'm gonna go ahead and fill in a couple more workers in these places just, I think it would be a good thing to have more people going on. Ah, but you know what else would be a really good sugary thing? Get some candy. Let's go ahead and do that. We can absolutely afford this. Oh, I got to show you something else I did too. But let's get this going first. So our candy workshop. We'll get this guy plopped in. We'll go about right there. That'll work. Got planks. We got glass. And we got brick. But look at what I had to do in order to have all those things. Back over in here, where we're utilizing the coastline here, I put in six more kiln factories to try and meet the demand of our brick mostly and then of course glass as well so we needed a lot of things and we're working on it uh, glass bottles are over in here our sand is low it looks like and it looks like refined fuel is also low not good so let's come over in here this is our little area of course i will grab our fuel factory and i'm gonna go ahead and plop two more down and it also looks like our advanced smithy is good to go. So that'll be excellent. And we can grab those steel toolings. There it is, steel tools. Great. Uh, what else do we got here? Ooh. So this is where we're going to be able to build ovens. This was previously a trade-only item. And it looks like we're going to have to go over to remodel bell towers and ovens in order to get those recipes unlocked. We're going to need another point. But just like what we've been doing before, let's go ahead and prepare for that. We'll get an advanced smithy good to go. And then once we are able to build ovens, we can go ahead and do that. The ovens are going to help in the efficiency of certain buildings, such as the curing workshop here. Remodel the structure with the oven, improving its working efficiency by 
I mean, why wouldn't you? So we're going to do that. We're working on it. And it looks like our reserves of fish are getting quite low. A couple episodes ago, we put in a couple more curing workshops so that we could utilize more salted fish. And it looks like that plan has worked very well. We are going to need some more fish. And it looks like the salt is just okay. Uh, now that we're going to be utilizing salt for our leather to make that refined leather, we might need to think about another, yet another salt works. We got plenty of them right now. Uh, but uh, with uh, that extra need, we're going to need to put in another one in, I think. So let's go ahead and get a fishing dock. And we'll plop a couple more of these guys down. We'll do one right there. Get one right there. Okay, a couple more. That'll be good. And our caravan has returned. So that means we have our apple seeds. Let's go ahead and get these guys good to go. And then we have our candy workshop built up. Go ahead and check out what this guy has for us. So we have regular old candies, fruit candy, and then chocolate. We don't have cocoa beans, but we do have coffee beans. We could maybe get some cocoa beans going on. Uh, the candy is going to take sugar, which we got now. And then honey, which we have a little bit of. Uh, so we could put in a couple more apiaries and get that going a little bit better. Fruit candy, however, we can take some sugar and then some jam to make fruit candy for us. So I think what we'll do for now, let's go ahead and go for the regular old candies. Put two workers on there. And then once we get our apples up and going, I think we'll do another candy workshop for our fruit candy. Go ahead and we'll build it. And then let's go ahead and find that apiary like we were just mentioning. We'll grab this guy. And I think what we'll do is we'll pop um, one of them down over in here. And then let's go one more over in this spot. So what we would like to have is more mature trees. So something that we could do, of course, this is something that I don't normally do in later games. Uh, because we don't really need the trees. Uh, let's go ahead and go for a forester hut. I'm going to bring this out just a little bit, and I think I might move this apiary uh, to just so it's in the trees a little bit more, and it's a little bit better buff of mature trees. But for now, we're going to go ahead with that, and then once this guy is built up, we're going to set it to plant only. We don't need to cut the trees, so we don't have to worry about that. So this is going to be cleaned up, and then it'll get built up, and then we'll be good to go there. Looks like some of our apple trees are coming in already. Looks good. Other were huts. Good to go. Let's see what we got here. So we have the fine handbags. This, I believe, is just a tradable good. Yep, tradable good with a high value. Wow, 123. No kid. Okay, so we got leather shoes. Takes leather to make shoes. Uh, we have straw shoes right now. So let's just see if there's a durability difference here. So straw shoes are 500, speed 5, happiness 15, durability 800, speed 10, happiness 22. Yeah, so uh, double the speed. Leather shoes are going to be worth it for sure for us. And then we have leather boots. These are even better than leather shoes speed of 20 double again and what are we gonna need for this steel fur and refined leather um so yeah we could totally do that but i'm noticing an error that i have here uh this isn't producing refined leather for us so let's go ahead and we'll make leather shoes just because we have plain old leather but then i gotta look at this quick ah that's why we gotta get to refined leather so let's go ahead and learn that tech we'll grab leather shop and we'll get one of these guys put down and once this is placed then we will be able to get a uh, refined leather. We'll utilize that salt and the leather, of course, for refined leather. We need some more steel tools. We should have them by now. And then lanterns, good to go. I did notice a couple of mines that needed to be upgraded. So I have been upgrading mines as I'm seeing them here. It looks like there's a couple here as I'm saying it that could probably use upgrading. No lamp oil, though. So let's go ahead and max these out. I noticed that we were kind of red in our ore, so I don't want to deal with that. We'll get those two guys buffed up. And then here we go. We got two mines that are upgrading. Needs that lamp oil. Let's just check that while we're right here. Wow, holy beeswax. We got lots of that. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Oh, so we got these apples, right? So that means that we had our caravan come back, which also pushed us to level five with Carlos. So if we scroll down here, we have everything now. Uh, you might have noticed a little uh, blip here on blueprints. That blueprint is the Great Temple. So there it is. I'm not going to build it, I don't think. I don't really want to lose a bunch of our workers to uh, something dumb like uh, the sacrifice. Uh, our other advanced smithy is good to go. This one was going to be for the ovens, remember? So we're going to go ahead and toggle that one off. We don't need it operating. Fuel factories. Let's go ahead and max these workers. Put two workers for steel tools too. Why not? And for building kits. Nice. Max it all out if we can. Uh, I did accept more immigrants. I, I said I wasn't going to. I haven't, I've been taking like two or three more uh, batches. We have tons of people. I needed a couple more marquees. <laughs> so these are all maxed up. Uh, I had been upgrading a couple more luxury houses over in here. So we got to put in the puppies and a couple of them. 
and we're going to continue to work on upgrading these houses and then over in here we're having the need for more housing so i put in another little neighborhood area right next to this one i'm going to fill these all in with luxury houses it's going to be great put in a couple more up over in here you can see where the new roads were placed we do have a little bit of wiggle room kind of up in here but this is pretty much full so I will absolutely build another uh, old folks home up over in here someplace. I'll go about right there. That'll tie in the, these two places together pretty well. Get that going. I'm going to work on this little area. Put some more luxury houses in there. Keep growing. Looks like we're going to have a flood here in a second. Oh, look how much food we're having. We got the food figured out. We do have another uh, admin term here. Uh, I did put these three people as reappoint. Uh, citizens max warmth plus 15 durability of tools clothes and backpacks plus 20 and then farm yield plus 25 i mean 25 percent farm yield is really really good so I, I had to put that in there let's go ahead and change adrian out we don't need so many immigrants anymore so let's go ahead and change this um let's go with max energy 15 and we're gonna go ahead and make that a permanent buff as well you know let's go ahead and make erica permanent also Interval between citizens procreation minus 10%. At this point, with a fertility rate of 13, I haven't caught uh, what the birth rate has been recently, but we'll keep an eye out for that and see what we're looking. The dogs have definitely helped to stave off the stress a little bit, but man, it's it's an uphill battle, it feels like. So we're working on it. We're getting there. The leatherware hut is going to be good. Oh, I do want another one of those guys. We'll get another one of these built up, and that should be good to go in between episodes here. And there's the flood rolling in. Let's go ahead and get that leatherware hut right there uh apiaries are good to go we're gonna make that honey of course we're gonna put three people on there and then forester hut we're only going to plant trees so we'll turn off fell trees and then that will be great apiary over here add the workers go ahead and do the same looking great and i think that's gonna be it for this episode of settlement survival thanks for coming and hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed this one and i hope to see you on the next one have a fantastic and amazing rest of your evening day or night